Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more base one. So we're picking up from, well, where we left off. What's going on with you? Why are you flashing? Oh, you've just got a casual broken bone. And uh, look, we've built our little base. People having a poke at me for making long corridors. I figure, why not? How do we know how much it's going to affect it? It might actually create all sorts of interesting building options. Maybe we can do, you know, a two by two there and something in the middle. Let's not make assumptions, team. Now, we're going to treat seven people and that's coming along nicely by the look of it. I really do love these modular buildings though. They, God, I hope this catches fire. If only to to make this more popular in the uh, in the genre, in the space. I love it. All right, here we go. Henry, oh, what, what do you got for me? Going? Mate. Can everyone get the medical help they need. They did indeed, Henry. Everything's okay. We got to them in Thank time. Thank God. People are the most important thing. Well, We've true. decided that staying in this location is a bad idea. Do you we reckon? We need to disassemble and move the station to another location. Oh, Only geez. then can we start examining the wreckage. Yeah, okay, okay. Why? What has happened? We're still too close to the wormhole. Its radiation greatly weakens the structural strength of the station. And after a while, it just falls apart. Please start disassembling the modules while we prepare for towing the hub. Okay, sure. Working on it. You're not actually going to make me do it though, right? We're just going to end the mission? Surely. Oh, dismantle devices, dismantle modules. Okay. Dismounting device. Oh, well, I guess it's teaching me about this. Right, okay. Any device or module can be disassembled. To do this, select it and dismount. After that, any free technician uh, dismounting. Upon completion, you receive 50% of the construction kits. Okay. If you just assemble something broken, only 30%. Well, you know, that makes sense. Dismount all devices. All right, well. All connections will be removed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Dismount away. Oh, that, that's going to get annoying. I don't think I can dismount any of that crap. is currently being used by a dude. We'll stop it. Well, you can't use it if it's got no power, mate. Resource transfer probe. Now, I think that's everything dismounted. Dismount all devices, dismount all modules. I think they're, they're one and the same. Oh no, hub. Can I not dis- completed. Okay, I can. I was just not selecting it correctly. Alright, I gotta remove all the crap first. Understood. Well, do I dismount the... The bay, probably? Oh, the boys are getting out of their bloody toot suite. Alright. Oh, I guess I've got a whole bunch of spear gronks to help me out, so that's good. Dismount. Dismount completed. Fully disassembled. Waiting for new orders. Fully disassembled. I'm pretty sure Waiting I already ordered orders. the dismount on that. Completed. They're all trying to find places to hang out. <laughs> oh, you got to choose an edge of the station. Okay. That is currently dismounting. Fine. Yep. Very good. Whew, just finished. Uh, what's next? Why are they injured? I thought I healed Angel everybody. Completed. I wonder Angel if it wants me to dismount completed. this. We'll worry about that shortly. Just hang out in here, guys. Stop walking around. Why are you all injured all of a sudden? 
Module dismount completed. I kind of thought medical would have sorted you right out. No. There's, I don't think there's a pause. That's okay. Spacebar seems to send you to the center hub. Module disassembled. Alright. I hope you've all got spaceships. Cannot dismount the main station. Okay, cool. So maybe we weren't supposed to do that. They're all good. And now we'll tow it or something. Is that what he was saying? Excellent. Looks like we are ready to tow. We found a safe place to assemble a new station. Sounds good. The will be in direct line of sight and there will be no problems with communication. Nice. Okay, great, let's start. I'm I'm keen. I'm actually really into this game a lot. Nice. Mission complete. Uh, manufacturing. With the help of various devices within the station, you can produce a variety of objects. Okay, cool. I love that clean sci-fi, you know? Look at that. Ah. Oh. An automatic workbench can craft space suits or ammunition. We're going to need ammunition. Are there monsters out there? Who knows? I don't know. I like not knowing. Scrap metal. 300,000 kilometers from wormhole. Oh, that's a little bit better. Wasn't it like 100,000 before? Hopefully it loads the bloody... Game properly. Oh, we got the video. That's a good start. Okay. Hello, this is Adele. You've had Adele a shave, Ashmore. mate. Do you remember me? We met at the loading dock. I am so glad you survived. Oh. This situation is terrible. <laughs> Two thousand colonists. <laughs> Some rough voice acted here. The other dude was Among okay. Them were my friends, and now, now they're gone. Two thousand colonists disappeared. You were from the bridge, right? It's unbelievable. How did you manage to survive? It's simple. At the time of the disaster, I was in one of the cargo bays. <laughs> Over the speakerphone, the captain announced an immediate evacuation. Okay. And everyone who was there jumped into the freighter. All I remember is that it shook so hard that I hit the bulkhead and lost consciousness. Why, why are we doing this over open comps? Um, <laughs> this is more like across a cup of coffee or something. Uh, it was a helper situation. It's good the captain managed to save someone yes, at least. it seems. If I were on the bridge, we wouldn't be communicating with one another now. No, that's but true. We can talk about this Or later. even talking. Henry is now in the second freighter, coordinating the inspection of the Heraclid's wreckage. You can talk with him at any time via communication screen. Sure, Okay. Uh, have you managed to repair the second freighter? Actually, life support, the reactor, and computers works. Well, that's good. We placed a part of the crew there. They are still resting. Myself and the others are still collecting everything that remains of Heraclid's. Okay. We just found a whole bunch of useful debris. Please build a docking bay so that we can unload all this for you. Also, it seems you are running low on oxygen. Check the containers around you. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Follow the bouncing ball. New mission objective. Communications. Here you can talk with the characters if they are online, as well as see the status and detailed descriptions of all current mission objectives. Okay, let's click on that. Henry. Objectives. Build docking bay module, okay. Henry, mate, let's have a chat. What's up? What's going on, brother? Online. Glad to see you. I need to talk with you. Sure. Ask. Uh... I still do not understand what happened to the Heraclids. What, how did this even happen? I'm curious. I don't fully understand it either. Oh, I wouldn't we think so. Lucky. We found one of the black boxes from Heraclids. Yeah. It is badly damaged, so some of the data was unobtainable. And? It seems that upon exit, we came across a streaming node. This is an anomaly in which incredibly strong gravity acts. There are a lot of them in the wormhole, and we learned how to get around them in flight, but did not expect it to be at the exit point. Right. It's just an accident. Probably, yes. 
As a result, the ship was torn to pieces. Part of the wreckage was pulled back into a wormhole, and the rest was thrown out. You know, when we examined the wreckage, it was a terrible sight. Right. Bodies. So many bodies. Hands, legs. Heads. Oh my goodness. It's a nightmare. I understand that uh, Carnegie and Baikal suffered the same fate. Apparently. They were so close behind us, I don't think they could have survived. Maybe. Who knows? Clear. Anything else? Um, he had something sure. else to say. Ask. Were you serious about the transceiver yes. module? Why? You don't believe me? I just remember that a huge module with a huge plate was loaded onto the Carnegie. And you think we can't assemble it? Don't you worry about what you think we can or can't do. Oh, okay. Send a signal to the wormhole. If anyone is there, they will receive a signal. Okay, that sounds fair enough. Wait, do you think that Proteus is already there? They don't know what awaits them? This is a disaster. As I understand it, before leaving the funnel, the captain sent a signal to Earth that we were preparing to leave. They could have misinterpreted it. It is possible. How much time we do we have? 10 to 12 days. I think we will have time to warn them. Everyone is still shocked by what happened, but we're determined. Okay, we'll do Anything our best. Else? No, it's all right. See we got you. work to do. We got work to do, man. I, I, this scenario, everything about this is just a great setup. Okay, now, where were we? Build a docking bay module. All right. I mean, let's just build that straight away. And then when it warns me for not building all the other stuff, we'll deal with that. Docking bay. Where is the uh, ship? It's over there. Okay, how about this be our this be our docking bay edge? All right. Now I don't know if it's going to necessarily need power and heat. Is it? I think people can get away with just walking through it, right? So let's just go with that for the moment. This music's pretty pretty chill, pretty unintrusive. Okay, I've just completed the module assembly. Good work, Kyle Pratt. Alright, is someone gonna get on the horn? There we go. Adele. Great, we are heading to you. The debris we found contain a ton of useful parts. They must be recycled and all possible components removed. Yeah, yeah. I can understand that. Well, but we don't have the equipment for this. Well, Henry and Malik came up with a solution for you. They dismantled something in the second freighter. They will design a recycling device and we will also send a specialist to operate it for you. Wow, look at that sport rotten. Wow, send the blueprint when ready. Lucky me. Okay, new mission. Build manufacturing module, install recycler device. Right. Manufacturing module. Maintenance, small life support, power, industrial. Manufacturing, here we go. Oh, how close can I build it? Let's go. Look at that. You guys wanted close. Well, that's what you bloody get. Maybe I could have made that closer, you know? I don't know. Still learning. Still learning. Assembly completed. Ready for my next task. Here you can install up to four devices for processing or production. This can be smeltery, chemical reactor, recycler, workbench tier one or two. Do not forget to connect heat and oxygen to the module, otherwise personnel will not be able to get to their workspaces. That's okay, we'll work it out. See now, remember this, this module is disproportionately sized as well. So, oh, I love, look at that, look at it cycling. Okay, so not general, but maintenance, small life support. Here we go. All right, let's do that. All 
I mean, I guess if we want to be spoiled, we could oxygenate and heat that area as well. Ready for my next task. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, oh, well, hang on. Install recycler device. Life support industrial. Recycler. Let's just, we'll set that up. But we're going to need, um, what was it? Life support. Probably a battery. And probably an EDL. And on top of that, let's get some pe um, power going. Oh, that's going to interfere with all of that. Ah. Yeah, okay. I understand. Come on. Assembly completed. Nice. This device allows you to disassemble complex resources into parts and recycle any garbage. For example, you can recycle scrap metal as well as broken probes or drones, etc. Do not forget to connect the device to the station storage. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Initial resources are transferred to the device and the parts received a uh, return to storage. Control device requires a manufacturer. Important, one manufacturer can control only one recycler. I'm assuming there's a, there's a bill system or something like that. Finish with the assembly and ready to proceed. Oh, here we go. New video call. So, Henry will now send you the firmware for the recycler. Right. Please pull everything you can out of the debris. Uh, okay. Uh, what do we do with the received they details? They required to assemble the main part for the transceiver module. Right. The hyperwave transmitter. Henry and Malik are now working on schematics of a transmitter and a workbench for assembling it. Good luck. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Right. So, power. Hang on. Con where's the connections thing? Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I know. I know. Power. Recy hang on. With the help of the recycler, you can extract various components. Do we not read this? Processing is to, to open the recycler's control panel, select it and then press control panel button. Oh. Here we go. He's going to click it. Oh, maybe it's all... Okay, it's all controlled in there. Right. You just need to set the required quantity and press start. So it is a build system, which is what we suspected. Manufacturing. However, they haven't built that just yet. Assembly completed. All right. Heat. Oxygen. Not water, but logistics. Assembly completed. Ready for my next task. All right. Oh, and we can uh, connect power like so. There we go. So that's all set up. Okay, debris recycling. Scrap metal. Take all. Start. Okay, so I can't do anything while that's going on. That's fine. Um, and uh, debris, right? So I guess I need to get the probes going. Can I fit a probe launcher into this room? Hmm. Where's the probe launcher go again? Manufacturing hangar. Oh, okay. 
All right, so that's separate. That's different from the docking thing. Okay, that's fine. Look at that. Look at that. God, I love to watch this Scarlet Seeker bloke work. <laughs> no, guys. Don't call me a hero. Um, I can't see the harm in just hooking everything up, right? Eat. Oh, we can only heat one thing. Oh, that's right. Um, um. Uh, let's build a module. Just wrapped up the assembly. Wait EDL. The I want to build two of them. never it's a bit frustrating when escape will get you out of like a pop-up some pop-ups and then other times it'll open the bloody menu it's a bit strange research tree oh it's good to know we've got a research tree um let's get a bloody probe going look at that the assembly is all done Ready for the next one. Alright. Assembly is all done. Ready for the next one. Yeah. Heat. I guess we should heat this room. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So let's get another module thing going. Or whatever it's bloody called. Maintenance. Life support, yeah? All right. Oh, hang on. For the smallest second, I saw a, a corridor. Nope, maybe not. Maybe I'm going insane. All of these are uh, possible outcomes. And ready to proceed with the next one. All right, calm your farm. Probe needs power. No logistics, silly me. I wonder, is our solar panel enough for what I'm asking it to do? Who's to say? Alright. Okay, oh, it's on auto mode already. So that's good. Um... Well, hang on, what do you press? What are you pressing these buttons for, Scarlet? ELD. Let's go. Why aren't you two getting oxygen? What are, what are, you, what are you telling me? Did I not connect oxygen? Oh, here we go. He should get it any moment now. The is all done. There we go, they're good now. The all right. Logistics. Power. Eat. Oxygen. I could use two more of these. Looks like I'm uh, not charging that power back though, eh? Hmm. I guess we could make it's interesting so the solar arrays sort of 
kind of represent the edge of your base in a way, you know? See the dock there as well. Hmm. Maybe we just put one here for the moment. But there's clearly a, a smarter way to go about it, I would say. If you can get them pronging out here, like with the dock, but that would require me building further out here. Get that going. Spacesuits, nice. Production stopped. God damn it. Incoming video call, let's go. Oh, Adele, good to hear from you again, love. Blueprints for the transmitter and workbench are finished. We're sending them to you now. Are you ready to start? Absolutely, yes, oh sure. What else is needed to build a transceiver module? As far as I remember, parts of the case, several more emitters, a signal amplifier, and a cascade modulator are needed. Oh the yeah, all those two things. are the problem. We cannot assemble them yet, so we must continue searching the debris. Okay, isn't all the debris already Almost found? everything, but there are still a couple of very large pieces of debris. But it's hard to reach them as they are very close to the wormhole's funnel. There is a strong gravimetric field which disrupts the operation of systems. Okay, let's take a look at those blueprints for now. Alright. Assemble hyperwave transfer. Workbench tier one. Let's go. All right. All right. Resource depleted. Like I can escape out of that menu, but not the other ones. All right. The device allows you to assemble complex components, make repair kits or hulls for, yep, yep. Do not forget to connect the devices. Yep, yep, yep. An engineer is required. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully this power will, there you go. She's fighting back. Which is good. Um, ELD. Let's get one of those built. The assembly is all done. Ready all right. The next one. Power. Uh, heat. Oh, maybe I don't need an ELD for that. I need logistics. Alright. I mean, I guess you can, you can have logistics as well. Oh, whose room would you like to heat? You can, you can heat this one. Now, I don't think this can really do much. You receive whole parts. Right, okay, right. But there's nothing that we've salvaged. Hyperwave transmitter, let's go. Oh, quantity one. There we go. Probe's still going bloody hammer and tongs. Look at that, look at that base. Oh, man. Finally, we have the most important part. That's Take it. Take care of it. 
we're all very tired and hungry, but we will be with you soon. Ready to welcome the new guests? Oh yeah, for sure, let's go. Already warming up the rations and pouring tea. Nice. All right, next mission then. Basic life support setup. Batteries charged by solar panels. Yep, yeah, you know, no, we get the hang of it. Yeah, so this would be interesting. I wonder, like, what sort of legs this game has. And how much of the story is developed, you know, when it goes into launch. It's obviously going into early access. There's a lot of work done in it, you know? Seems if, if, like this is impressive. It's a shame because truly this shouldn't be. For early access, this should be actually just normal. But like, so I don't want to, I don't want to take away from the devs. Good for them for being ahead of the curve. But this should be the standard that all early access games come out in. We're in a build that's about to go early access. Greetings. And I like what's Henry going on here. Contact you urgently. He and Adele are now examining the last group of debris in a second freighter. There's no connection with them yet due to interference from the wormhole. Right. Okay. What happened? We have a big problem. Oh, no. The ejection of the Heraclid's wreckage from the wormhole generated a mass of gravitational anomalies. Part of the asteroid field set in motion. At the same time, the gravity of the planet prevents them from flying out of the system. So what? Yeah. Well, there is, in fact, a very dense meteorite field coming towards you. Oh. It's moving in a long orbit around the planet. Oh, well, that's not good. Can you tell us a side? We don't have the time. The field is very wide and very dense. Contact cannot be avoided. However, there is one solution, but it will not be easy. But put your head between your knees and, and kiss your we ass goodbye. Two missile launchers from Heraclids. Oh, yeah, the okay. Units and charging mechanism are damaged, but they seem to be in working condition if you assemble them. Wow. So we have to point them and shoot manually. Exactly. It's less than ideal, but no. if you try, you can shoot down several large asteroids in order to breach the field. But there's one problem. We uh, have no ammunition. Yeah. Oh. Mm, how we destroy meteorites? Is a mass of small debris. If it's processed, we believe that it is possible to get components for ammunition and then assemble them on a workbench. We'll bring to you the launchers as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Very good. Oh, nice. We're going to shoot down some bloody meteorites. Very cool. All right. Well, we're going to have to finish up there. I'm enjoying this. It seems like a lot of you are enjoying it as well. This is very cool. Um, yeah, I can't get over the, the clean, modular, you know, sci-fi stuff. And look, the, the, the voice acting is a bit rugged and, you know, the character models and all that. I don't care. It's kind of got a charm to it. And to be honest, this I talk about this all the time. The overcomplex, patting yourself on the back, but it's not really well realized writing that is taking over the bloody video game scene is so just gross. This is cool. The story is basic, straightforward. You know, they're meeting it out in small clumps of dealing with disasters. It's, you know, it's playing out like a bloody weekly episode of a sci fi serial, and it's great. It's solid. It knows what it is, and it sticks to it. And I'm going to tell you now, there's going to be an audience for it. And I, I like this return to form of just strip it down. None of this crap, you know, overreaching stories that never actually make it. Just take the right bite of the pie. And I really, really think this is solid. Anyway, enough waffling. Team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.